Hello YouTube, Phil 20 today, and what I've got is a package in the mail, and it's from Midnight Solar. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got inside. Alright, we got a box it says Wiz Bang Jr. It's got the quarter moon M N W B R no B J R. So, so it's in a slide box or so maybe maybe not. All right, so here we go. All right, so we got. Uh, Some, a couple screws and some uh, spacers. A nice thick envelope with, I'm sure, very detailed information. Wins, Whiz Bang Jr. installation instructions. Nice. You know what that means? We're putting a Whiz Bang Jr. in. Alright, so if we take a closer look at this, uh, it's basically a circuit board, and I couldn't tell you how important this is. I wish I knew, knew that uh, this attached to my classic charge controller. If I did, I would have gotten it day one. I mean, I. I'll tell you what, this has got to be the most important thing you can get for your charge controller. Um, if you've got a Midnight Classic 150 or intend on getting one, you need one of these. If you don't get one of these, you're going to regret not having one of these, and you will find out that you will go back and buy one of these. So, I can't tell you how important this is. What you can do with this is basically set your inverter up or many of different things, but for my application, what I would do was set my inverter up to turn on and off automatically with this right here. This will turn on and off as needed for the you know battery status. For instance, currently my battery turns on during the day and uh, my batteries turn off during the night. So basically, it turns on and off like a light switch, and that's the way I got it set up because that's the best set setup I can set up currently with it. That's the most effective working. Right. So what you can do with this is you can turn on your inverter, and immediately it's going to uh, turn off as needed or on as needed by the battery state of charge or depth of dips discharge um, I cannot stress how important this is so it doesn't kill your batteries my batteries have been having a hard time so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the installation okay YouTube I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you what we need to do first currently I've got a shunt that will fit with the Whizbang Junior but with the capacity of my box, it won't fit. By the way, this box is amazing. We can put all this wire in here and everything still works flawlessly. The only thing is, I'm gonna to have to rotate this block, okay? And that way I can fit the Whizbang Junior on the top because the installation instructions requires me to install it like this and it won't fit because of the plastic there but I can fit it in there like this so as you can see we're going to attach our Wizbang Jr. inside like that no big deal 
So, we're going to take this off, rope, you know, turn it 180 degrees, and then bolt everything back together and put the Whizbang Junior on it. And since I'm going to have it out, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and have the Whizbang Junior out, put it in, and then put everything together. So that will probably be the easiest way to do it. I'll be right back after I get all this unbolted and put back together. Okay, so I've got, uh, what I've had to do is I've had to switch these two blocks. And then I had it, I didn't have to rotate it. I didn't think about that switching the blocks would work fine. But once I realized I had to, it's fine, no big deal. Uh, we've got the uh, single wire, which is so awesome. I can appreciate this way more than the Trimetric uh, 2030 controller. This has one wire that goes to the charge controller, and that's it. I don't have a bunch of extra wires going back and forth. It's uh, very, very simple. Let's go over here. Right there. You got one wire that goes to the charge controller, and that's that teeny tiny wire right there. And bam, that's our signal wire. So basically, we're I'm putting everything back together the way it was before. Okay, YouTube, I've completed what I needed to get done. You can see here we got our Whizbang Junior. Let me go up for you. We've got our Whizbang Junior installed. It's a very small piece of equipment, and it's worth a million dollars to me. I wouldn't want to never get rid of it. I love it. Basically, what's going on is whenever the batteries get below 75%, the relay turns on. The relay turns on power to the transfer switch in the inverter. And the power to the, from the grid goes straight to, through the house. And whenever the uh, charge comes back up, it turns back on. So, basically, it keeps uh, my house running on solar. And I don't even have to wink. I won't even have to look again at the charge... Uh, state of charge no more I won't have to get up in the you know during the emergency shut it off or on it, it's just gonna run on its own I won't even have to turn off nothing what do I think about the Midnight Classic and the Whizbang Junior I have installed the Whizbang Junior it was a flawless install the programming for it was so easy I could not explain how easy it was uh, now since I've uh, disconnected power to the trimetric charge controller, I'm going to go through and reset 15 different settings on that. And that has nothing to do with the Midnight Classic equipment. So you can see how easy it is. It took me literally less than four or five minutes to program the Whizbang Jr. It was so easy, I can't believe how simple it was. If anybody's interested in getting started with a Whizbang Junior, I couldn't tell you that it's a bad thing because it's amazing how easy, simple, and important this device is. And it's relatively inexpensive compared to the price of a charge controller or, you know, an inverter with this type of setup. So I want you guys to know that the Midnight Classic and the Whizbang Junior is amazing products and I could not recommend anything else. This is Phil 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. And I'm going to holler at y'all later.